Hey YouTube, hey Facebook, what's going on? It's me, Sean, and today is another vlog, and I'm actually recording this on Sunday for Tuesday. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, I want to first say this, this title is How to Become a Success on YouTube. Uh, well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, it's content. It's whatever you put in your video. I think the first thing is knowledge. Know what you're talking about. Uh, if you are not versed in that particular thing, say for instance, science or plutonium or hair care, <laughs> like I'm not, I, I'm not versed in women's hair care, um, do research on it. Uh, learn as much about the subject as possible and uh, then come back and do a, a really great bang up job uh, here on YouTube and tell people what it's all about. Um, like, for instance, I did a video on uh, Alzheimer's. I did a video on um, Walk for the Cure. I, I talked a little bit about my experience with Alzheimer's. Uh, I talked about the time that the, that the, um, the walk was going to happen, where it was going to happen, who uh, was funding it, in other words, the Alzheimer's Association, um, and the like. Then I did two other videos right behind each other, I did a video on um, how to get to the particular site, what the site looked like, um, your, your bearings when you get to the site. In other words, Pier 17, I told you how to get there. I told you what it looked like um, in specific ways. Um, what else? Then I told you even, like I said, how to get there. Train station. How far away was the train station from uh, the actual site, what trains actually went to that particular train station. Uh, I told you it was a C, uh, South Street Seaport. Uh, so, you know, as long as you come away with full knowledge, or the viewer comes away with a full knowledge insofar as um, the topic, it's great. So great content. Uh, I think enthusiasm is really great. And if you know your topic and you're positive about what you're about to say and what you're saying, um, the enthusiasm is definitely a plus. Um, I kind of write off of my nervousness. You know, I always think, even when I was doing um, auditions, I used to do auditions all the time. Uh, for singing and for nightclubs and stuff like that. And I'd be so nervous, but I would ride off my nervousness. But my nervousness was based on uh, kind of knowing what I, I was going to do, but being in front of people. So being in front of people was really scary to me and the lights and everything like that. Um, but I knew my content. I knew the songs. I knew the keys. You know, I knew what I was going to say in between songs. Uh, when I gave the shows. So, you know, content is definitely uh, a great thing to have. Enthusiasm is a great thing to have. Uh, knowledge of the subject. Um, and then I think also looking at your competitors. I told you that... <laughs> I told you that... Um, um, that uh, enthusiasm and knowing content and being nervous. I was also nervous because I looked at my competitors. Um, there's always other people watching you who are going to be your competitors, who are sizing you up, especially if you're in a contest. Uh, and I, I like to give a thumbs up to DJ Bliss for his latest vlog where there was a contest and he picked a winner. I thought it was a great vlog. Thumbs up, man. It was really great. Um, I also watch other people's videos, uh, like Matt and Blue. I love their videos. I love the content. Um, there's always a strong, uh, subject matter that they're dealing with, um, whether it's cooking or going on tour or, um, being at a specific, uh, event, like they went on a cruise, uh, which was very, very, um, it was compact, but it gave a lot of information. It was also fun. Uh, they have a, uh, they're, both of them are fathers. And um, in, the, in the very beginning, when they first adopted their son, they talked about the intricacies of being a dad and, and you know, raising a, a child. Um, then you got to look at their home. They did uh, tours of their homes. Uh, so that was always great. Um, what else, who else do I watch? 
uh, DJ Bliss. I love DJ Bliss because he always makes me feel like, like I'm the only one who's watching his videos. In other words, he's up close and personal. It, it seems like he's really talking to me. Um, I think, <laughs> I also think that when I sent in um, uh, something to him saying that, you know, I, I want to see you fly, uh, or flying or something like that, that, he did a flight video. And I kind of think that I was the cause of that. I could be wrong, but I kind of think that, you know, he, he read my, he read my thing in the description and he says, let's do a flying video. I've done them before. Let's do another one. And uh, so that was really great. And that's one of, for me, that's one of my best videos for me to watch of DJ Bliss is that flying video. I love it. I definitely um, give you another thumbs up for that. hundred percent. I like DJ Bliss um, cinematography, his colorization, his audio is always good. His content is always good. There's always a sense of humor. Uh, in so far as content is concerned, he's always going to hotels, restaurants. Um, he's always talking to his crew. Uh, you get a, a, a great sense of uh, the camaraderie uh, of he and his the, the people that work for his company. Ray Ray, June, like that Manny. Uh, Weedo, a lot of these people seem to be almost like his family, and I just think it's really great. Uh, so hats off to DJ Bliss. Uh, who, who's another person that I watch uh, a lot? Um, I watch a lot of uh, conspiracy theory um, videos like depopulation. I did a video about depopulation. That's how much I cared about it. I did a video also about uh, nanotechnology and nanoparticles. Um, I've done a great research insofar as nanoparticles are concerned, and I continue with it because it's a topic that uh, continues to elude us uh, because they're using chemtrails. They're putting uh, fluoride in water. All of these are poisons they give us Alzheimer's, cancers, uh, 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 Parkinson's disease, diabetes, all of these things really, I believe, derive from uh, depopulation and the Kaaba that projects it. Uh, I have a whole list of people that I watch. Um, Swerdlow, Stuart Swerdlow. I feel that he and his wife project the purest form of news that's out there. They tell you a lot of stuff that's undercover, covert, uh, by uh, the Kaaba. Uh, you know, he, uh, Mr. Swerdlow, has talked about his uh, his days at uh, in Long Island, um, where he was experimented on. And, and all of that. And for him, it's content. Uh, Brian G. Johnson, um, he tells a lot. <laughs> Brian G. Johnson, he tells a lot about what's going on in YouTube and how to better yourself as a YouTube vlogger. Um, for me, I, I tell you that I love to, um, I love to videotape. I love the art form of videotaping. Uh, so before I even got on YouTube, I think I made probably one video on MySpace and, um, and I was totally hooked and I went out and got a certificate for field, uh, production, uh, field production. And, and it doesn't get any better than that. So for me, it's doing a video, it's filming, it's editing, it's making sure that my sound is correct. I mean, I've spent like 48 hours working on sound when I had an echo and I couldn't figure out how to stop the echo. I've spent uh, a lot of time listening to Brian G. Johnson. Um, also to Nick Nimmin and Roberto Blake. You know, I love these guys because they give you, I think the purest form of how to be a success on uh, on YouTube, uh, being transparent, uh, not really holding anything back, uh, like tags, content, how to have a, a background to your videos. Like like I'm still working on my background here, so I've got Christmas lights going on because 
Nick Nimmin has Nick Nimmin has um, like Christmas lights in his background, but they're placed so where they look like studio lights, and it gives it it gives an aura as like he's in a studio, and he probably is. He's probably spent more than a few thousand dollars on that studio. So I'm trying to emulate that. So I'm starting out with Christmas lights over there and over there. So that's how I'm starting out. And insofar as lighting is concerned, because I didn't mention that, I have a heck of a hard time with lighting. So I open up my window uh, curtain and I use the sun. Monsieur Soleil. Thank you very much. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Soleil. Um, so I use the sun a lot because I can't afford a, a lighting, uh, and and you know the light in my room, um, which really doesn't uh, really doesn't project a lot of light. So for me, all of that is encumbered, is is put together, and and it makes me really love what I'm doing. So knowing content. Um, video editing. I've spent, my God, sometimes 48 hours uh, on editing. You wouldn't be able to tell, um, but when you have, um, I have two, I have two platforms. I have XSplit, which is what you're looking at me now over, and then I have Filmora. Now, I, I spent a lot of time on Filmora, editing and, and everything, and then when I sent it, when I, um, exported it to uh, YouTube and to Facebook, um, they had a watermark that I didn't know was going to uh, be projected. So I actually had to stop using that. And um, you're going to have to pay for that, not you, but me. And um, so I'm kind of waiting for that extra, um, that extra cash to do that. So, you know, these are, these are the people that, that I idolize. Um, I want to say also that I said that I got a, a certificate uh, for field production. That field production certificate came from Brooklyn uh, Cable Access TV, uh, BCAT for short. And I went there maybe three months and got a certificate. They teach you how to edit uh, primarily. Uh, they teach you about content going out and being out in the field with your camera, with lighting. And, and doing a, a subject matter, and then you have to bring it back, edit it down, and show it as a in production. And I went through that and got a certificate. So for me, the the look is what I love. You know, actually filming is, is what I love. Editing is what I love. All of that is, is, is summed up into one great entity for me. So that's basically how you become a success. Uh, tagging also, when you, uh, beyond the description, when you look down, it's description, and then under that it says tags. Um, I just learned from uh, Roberto Blake how to just put full sentences in there. And once you do that, it, it's correlated to what you have in your description box. And your description box is really correlated to what you have in the title. So um, it's a one, two, three punch. And then when you, um, I'm gonna say when you mix it all down, uh, then you get um, a numeric. Hopefully you get a numeric as to how, it, how the video is gonna be placed. Um, some of the videos that I've done have been placed in first position, and I only have 12 views on uh, one video, and I'm beating out a video that, that has maybe 14,000 uh, views, uh, which is pretty cool because I know in the long run it's going gonna, it's gonna to do better. We're going to have a lot more views going on. And for me also, because I, I mentioned that, it's not about money. It's not what you make. It's the, for me, it's the art form. When I sit up here and I do um, do a video, do a vlog, it's it's trying to relate to, to the viewer as to my topic. What do I know about my topic? How am I going to project it? 
uh, am I being complete in, in everything that I need to say? When I turn off the camera, is there one or two things that I've missed? Hopefully not. So a lot of times I do have a, a cheat sheet or um, a script. I really haven't written a script script as yet, um, but I definitely read uh, read on, on paper what I'm going to say as I'm saying it a lot of times. Uh, also, index cards really help. If you put one word per index card and you just flip, flip through them as you're reading, it gives you a better uh, knowledge as to what you're going to say, and you can extend upon that. Say, say for instance, if you have um, depopulation, you can, or even better, missing persons. You can talk about uh, where these missing persons uh, derive. In other words, National Park, Yellowstone, uh, Bear Mountain. Uh, all these different uh, parks um, and trails that people get lost in. Uh, you can talk about the, the years that people get lost, how many people get lost, that they're never found, or when they are found, they're found totally without shoes and socks, and that's 100% of the people that are found. And the people that are found, unfortunately, ha have been, uh, have been uh, murdered. So it's, it's a real hard subject to, to talk about. And so I'll always have a, a paper because I really get emotionally involved, especially with Alzheimer's, missing people. It really touches me. Um, so um, in closing, content is the, is the best. Enthusiasm, knowing what you're going to say. Um, the way a specific video looks, the cinematography, the audio, uh, the colorization. Um, for me, colorization is, is lighting. It's having really good lighting. Uh, and I'm adding these Christmas lights, you know, as a background. I deal with a white wall as opposed to uh, turning the camera around or turning the PC around and getting my closet door, which is brown. You know, and uh, I'm brown, the, the door is brown, so uh, I disappear. <laughs> so, but I want to thank everybody for turning, tuning in. Um, like I said, um, every Tuesday I'm going to drop a new vlog, a new video. Uh, it's wonderful to, to have the people from uh, the great island of the Philippines, the great islands of the Philippines. And um, also... Uh, Santa Monica, uh, California, uh, also really looks at, uh, at my videos. I get a few people from Mexico, and that's wonderful. And I'm looking really to open up in Dubai. So if you're from Dubai, hit me off. Always, like I said right here, subscribe, subscribe, smash that subscribe button, which is really over there, the little icon. Just click on that little icon and then smash the thumbs up. And so uh, I'll see you again real soon. And thanks so much for your time and patience.